Good morning, great morning. Dirk Vanderveld here. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how we can take a piece of land and turn it into a $100,000 profit. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how we found the property. I'm gonna show you guys what we built on the property. And stick around till the end because I'm gonna also show you guys all the numbers. And of course, at the very, very end, I'm gonna show you my favorite, favorite part. The property, baby. All right, let's go take a look. I just hope the damn thing's still standing. There it is, our first little speck. Success number one is it's still standing. It's a good success. That's what I love about that, the ground up, you know. You're able to really take nothing. This was a piece of land when we bought it and turn it into something, what you see here. Now let's get into how we actually found this deal. First, we had to pull an off-market list. We had to go and skip trace the numbers. And we didn't have to do that. This was a Zillow listing. It was on the market for almost 200 days, right? That's what I like about the ground up because people don't feel like they have the skill to be able to do the ground up stuff. There's a lot less competition. If you had a, a fix and flip, right? And there's a good deal that comes on the market, it's gonna be much more challenging. That's why a lot of those guys, they generate their off-market deal machine because it's really difficult to find you know stuff that's listed. Land, you can find good land deals straight on the MLS. So I love that about the ground up model. All right, let's go take a look. Let's go take a look at this bad boy. So this piece, it was on a half acre. It was on a half acre piece. And when we tied it up, what we did was we called around and we said, hey, realtors, what does Lapine need? It's in a small rural town where recreation is important. People have RVs, boats, they love camping, right? So one of the things that you see, not a lot of these houses, you can see five other houses that were built here. None of them have the RV garage that we put in. We did it to differentiate ourselves and because we figured we'd get a higher sales price. It was true. I'll show you those numbers a little bit later. But that's what I love about Ground Up. You buy a piece of land, you're not stuck with what's there. You can really think about and design something that your end customer is gonna want and need. This is a three bedroom, two bath. It's got a regular garage with a beautiful courtyard and then a nice huge RV garage as well, which is a huge selling point for us here. All right, as promised, now let's get into the numbers. So we picked the land up for 50,000. Everything you see that we built here cost us just under 300,000. And then our holding costs were about $25,000. So we're $375,000 into this ground up project and we sold this bad boy for $4.99. Yes, it takes a little bit more skill. Yes, it takes a little bit more time, but the spread is huge. That's what I love about it. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dirk, I'm not a builder. I don't know anything about construction. How can I get into ground up? You don't have to be a builder. I'm not even a builder. I'm a business builder. I know the business side of building. And then I use that for the investment, right? but I really lean heavily on all my trades. I don't need to know how to do it. I need to know how to manage doing it, right? So you have to become a business builder. And also to be honest, there's certain specs we've done where I've been in them two or three times and that's it. I've hired out the builder to do it, right? We build ourselves because I like it and I'm into it, it's a passion, but you don't have to be a builder or know how to build to do stuff like this. That's the beauty. Holy moly. All right, I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, please subscribe, hit that like button, follow us along on any of the social media. We're gonna be pushing out a lot more stuff and uh, we'll be talking investments, real estate, and of course, how you can also build your American dream. Let's go, baby.